my topic uh, is like surviving 10 years of a bootstrap open source journey which is which is not discussed very often in india as well as in the world so i'll discuss a lot about uh, like how you can create a bootstrap company with the open source instead of like open source bootstrap company and survive for 10 long years so without any further ado uh, my name is vipin sahu and i'm a director and co-founder right here at webcool you can also find my uh, twitter handle below the picture thanks to the organizer Th thank you very much for the open source india uh, it is a very nostalgic and emotional moment for me because last like uh, 10 years back i used to read the magazines from say, electronics for you linux for you and uh, open source for you such kind of a magazine i used to read a lot i learned a lot actually and i'm very thankful to the organizer that I even honored as well that i'm speaking on the same uh, same uh, seminar like same platform which open source or electronics for you has been crea have created actually uh, this is something very important and it's a kind of a disclaimer as well that uh, whatever i'm going to tell you yeah, what or whatever i'm going to express my uh, views it is like my, my personal views is like uh, the journey which uh, which i have created the journey which i have traveled in so it is very much possible that it may not suit you so the thing is i personally consider that everyone should create their own story and that is something uh, that's why it is very very important that uh, you can learn a lot of a lot from this talk but uh, uh, it is not very often that it may not fit for your requirement. So Webcool is a um, self-funded, bootstrapped, 100% bootstrapped company. Webcool has been created like by 2010 by three co-founders, Vipin Sahu, that's me, Vinay Yadav and Prakash Sahu. And uh, uh, till then, uh, we are constantly growing in especially in the open source way and in the bootstrap way especially if you know like uh, the name web cool the web stand for technology and the cool stand for uh, the community so you know the genesis of open source is in our company uh, web cool is not a single idea based company uh, we are working on a lot and lot of technologies from the marketplaces to omni channel connectors to erp to CRM, to master data management, to product information management, to B2B and warehouse and mobility, also machine learning as well. But not limited to IT, we are also working on uh, hardware as well. Prior to pandemic, uh, we have shipped a couple of our point of sale system that is totally hardware and the combination of hardware and the software. Uh, here is a small journey you can see, not a small actually, it's a 10 years long journey. And you can see like we have started a very humble beginning. Uh, and from that we added brick by brick by brick. And currently at 2020, we are having more than 200, 2000 products, more than 500 people had counts. And over, we are only company in India and the world, which is working 23 platform at the moment, over a hundred K customer at the moment, plus $5 million funding, uh, $5 million in revenue, not funding. We are self-funded actually. Sales, this is something uh, very important and uh, sometimes in the open source, it, it has been ignored. Like most of the people think that, okay, the open source is there, but uh, uh, what is the role of money there, the open source? But what I consider that open source is not a charity at all. And a serious open source need to be there. It, it should be long lasting. That's why my talk, my headline of the talk is like 10 years because any mature software or any mature company requires time and you need to survive that time. And uh, the part is the person who is working on your open source software, he or she also need to pay their bills, pay their rents, feed their families. So the proper funding is something very, very important. And it is for like, uh, it, it is for bootstrap as well as, well as either it's open source or it's not open source. But the thing is you need to have proper, uh, financial funnel if you don't have it then it will be very hard to survive even in the practical ground if you look around most of the popular open source are funded by some stable companies and that is very very important because the thing is the proprietary software and the SaaS services services which 
uh, like which are paid like by the people but uh, most of the people think that the open source is like a part time and just a charity so that's not going to work actually uh, this talk is something very personal to me and i'm going to share a lot of insights very personal insights to all of you because it may ha it may happen if someone is going to start the company from scratch th those who was listening to it and those who want to create their own startup and uh, maybe in middle of crash and burn such kind of a survival is something very very important and especially in india and in the world innovation is highly overrated and usefulness is underrated so what i really think that the biggest innovation for any company is the survival so let's start with the food survival the food survival is uh, something um, uh, it, it is something very very important because we started fresh out of college and we don't had any kind of a fund at that time we had almost 20000 rupees which we earned during our college projects so me and my, my co-founder was discussing like and we need to pay the obviously we need to pay the rent we need to pay the internet bills and a lot of other expenses but the thing is we were discussing what will happen from next month or two how we going to survive how we'll pay for our food bills and so what happened like we were discussing it like okay the maggi cost uh, 10 rupees and uh, for a day it cost 20 rupees and for a month it cost 600 rupee for a person so two people it will cost 1200 rupees so that kind of a mindset we had it like uh, if we had that kind of a mind then for sure we were ready for any kind of a worst kind of a scenario so there is something very very important everyone should be be ready for the same because starting from a bootstrap way is something uh, something very hard actually uh, the other part, part is infrastructure survival at that time infrastructure means computers like uh, like 10 years back when we like fresh out of college uh, the infrastructure for us like the computer only but as i said that i have only 20000 rupee so it was almost impossible if we'll invest that money in buying computer then there'll be problem with the uh, food and the rent so what i do i found a jugad or you can say a trick that during that i had some interns actually and the interns works in daytime and i'm sleeping in the daytime and i used to work in the night so this is also a way that we are offering support to our customer 24 cross 7 Uh, by having a single pc uh, human resource survive survival and hiring is something also important because when you are fresh we don't have fund so the part was um, obviously no one is going to like no experienced person is going no experienced person going to work for you so you need to find tricks you need to find ways how you can have people because from the very beginning we never had a kind of a freelancer mindset there's nothing wrong in the freelancer but we always try to build a company so we try we start trying to hire interns and the friend of friend who are not having jobs and the people who are coming from a small town to delhi for the training for the getting job actually so we have offered okay we'll offer training but but offer instead of training you need to do the work as well so they learn the the programming they learn the projects and that's how we build a lot of projects actually the cost survival is also one of the uh, main uh, surviving technique because obviously because of lack of fund we are not going to survive at all so we always prefer open source uh, from the our id to our web hosting to everything we always go for open source customer is something very important for us because a boot in a bootstrap company customer means everything customer means customer is an investor for us and you need to retain the customer that's fundamental thing because if you are losing if you are earning two customer in a month and end of the month you are losing that customer then certainly the next month will start from zero and then you need to invest again that amount of effort of uh, finding customers so this is something very very important in a bootstrap company your investor is your customer uh, also uh, there is a part that you should choose what part you should choose if you are opening a open source and a bootstrap company what i suggest don't go for a very crowded or hot or funded space if there is a lot of player then it will be very hard to survive there because they have a lot of fund previously they have a lot of uh, experience and fund and it will be very hard to compete 
try to have a different niche kind of a market but make sure there is a market a small is fine but make sure there is a market and try to build something there and that's how that's how we started we started building plugins web plugins and at that time in 2010 it wasn't like a serious business at that time but we keep adding keep creating values and we keep creating plugins and those ideas of creating plugins is like give us a lot of hope give us a lot of and most importantly paid our bills and because of that we able to hire people uh, people learn it our colleagues learn how to do small codes without any, having any pressure cooker kind of a pressure that you should do big software is scalable software we started with a very small with a very tiny products we start we started to sell web plugins and in this way we also learned how to sell this is something very important because all of our founders are engineers uh, they don't have any business degree or they don't have any, even have any experience kind of in terms of selling so that was very very important for us the other was the marketing and the seo this is even till then webcool is not investing uh, money in terms of uh, paid promotions and the reason is very simple even in the starting days if you search like some very uh, highly dense keywords google is charging tens and hundreds of dollars for a keyword ppc that is something we can't afford that so you need to sir you need to look upon the other ways like okay the search engine optimization is one thought the other thing is organic marketing and that's kind of a techniques which uh, which we have applied in our business and after 10 years we are still doing so and we are still thriving in that way we survived we thrived and then we won uh, the other important factor is to build a company for a thousand years and uh, when we were starting a company so we were thinking like why another company why we are going to create another company is there any motive and what i really think if the person have motive that okay they go for an early exit getting instant rich or quick ipo and then get a rich or get on the tv on the media coverage on the front or the billion dollar idea or valuation such kind of stuff if such kind of stuff is not a very good way to start a company it's not there's no actually there is no impact actually the money is will be there the money will be there but the money is not the only motive to start a company and the great impact can be done if you are surviving the business for at least 10 minimum years because the changes and the impact happen when you survive for long and the company should be there the indian company should be there for hundreds and 200 years and then only they will be able to create a jobs obviously the jobs is important but in terms of values in terms of knowledge such things is also very very important uh, the other thing is like open source and bootstrapped bootstrapping why open source and a bootstrapping as a business model the thing is it's very common that uh, at that time in 2010 it fresh out of college we people fresh out of college and the open source as a business model no one is going to fund it especially the freshman people we don't have any connection in industry we didn't have any industry experience we don't have any vc contact so the part was it was quite uh, we understand it that it is almost uh, uh, impossible to get funded even nowadays even after like in 2020 it is very hard to get funded actually a couple of my friends who is like in the business is in the job and they are trying to create their company in a vc way it is very hard to get funded even nowadays so we always believe what is our strength and we always work on that kind of a part so we start building it up we keep creating keep creating keep creating a lot of products we have created currently we have more than 2000 plugins is like beyond no one in the world matches with us uh, the other part was that in the starting days uh, obviously uh, open source projects requires time so you need to survive that time and uh, so in that time we also worked on the service project we work on the support projects but we keep we did a balance actually so balance is very important we were very much focused on the product and we keep creating products technical products actually and because the service project for us is means like renting time and uh, you cannot add value by renting time 
renting time is okay the job creation is there the service project is okay uh, job creation is there value addition is there but the, for the product product as the product grows older and older it gets more valuable if you're adding constant value in it so we always had that kind of a mindset uh, the other aspect of why we started as a open source bootstrap company after six or seven years when we get when we had enough fund so even we got a call from a couple of vcs but we said no we don't want your money at the moment the part was because we want to have a freedom we want to have experiments we want to do a lot of experiments we do we did a lot of failed experiment actually but that's the beauty of the ownership you're putting complete ownership and you can do a lot of experiment and then we within a web cool, we are running more than 20 startups and a lot of uh, projects it has been funded by us actually so that's why we have chosen the open source and the bootstrapping model growth and investment in an open source and a bootstrap company is organic and slow this is something important because uh, you'll hearing a lot in media and the press that this is the fastest growing company this is one is the fastest growing. everyone is the fastest growing company then no one is displaying themselves as that they are like slowest or the slow growing company there's nothing wrong in the slow slow doesn't means that you're not coming on tv or you're not coming on the press but slow means you're executing fast but you're not coming on tv that's quite okay end of the day is the survival how long you survive even a lot of companies in my tenure in like last 12 years, they are coming TV, but nowadays they're even their website is not opening at all. So the thing is, this is something very, very important that you must survive longer in business. Go where the market is less crowded. I already explained this point that you should choose uh, areas where the competition is less, where the, because the bootstrappers doesn't have that kind of money that can be invested in terms of marketing, in terms of advertisement. So you need to choose your niche in a very uh, uh, tactical way. What we call it in our uh, internal, that instead of buying or purchasing a BMW or Mercedes Benz, we create always create an open source project because that actually gives us happiness, that creates a lot of values actually. Uh, and uh, I think the bootstrap companies need to grow in that way. They need to be frugal. We are not a uh, we are not a monk anymore. All of our founders are giving uh, are living a very uh, comfortable life. Uh, in terms of money, money doesn't have any upper boundary, but a comfortable life should be there. But uh, the part is at what cost? So we always try to be frugal, and whatever profit we are getting in, we try to be VC for ourselves. So so you can say like a uh, lot of projects like tomorrow we have a Begisto project. So you can say the Bentley is our biggest project. Uh, what I also consider that the great company can be built by the great people only. And if you don't have great people, then it will be very hard to build a great company. Greatest people of all time build the greatest company of all time. Vice versa is not true. So, so we always try to invest back into the people so that they can add more value into the company. Uh, as I told you, like we are not a single idea based company. And luckily, uh, I am very fortunate that the initial people which we found like eight or nine years back, they are still with us. And some of the people are uh, heading mobile department. Some of the people are heading the CRM department. Some of the people are heading the ERP departments. So that's how we are constantly growing in that way. Profit is oxygen. This is something important. And especially the bootstrap company need to understand that. If you want to be in a business, if you want to create an impact, especially the open source impact, you need to generate profit. And if you're not generating profit, it is impossible to survive in this cutthroat competition. Financial business funnel is important so that you can survive for 10, 20, 50 or 100 years. Uh, what I always say is that minimum 10 years, 10 years is the minimum benchmark, which I consider because Two, three years is nothing. Two, three years is just, just the exploration. Part-timers can't change the world because the proprietary software, the SaaS companies are constantly putting efforts. And if the open source is doing part-time, that's not going to compete. Open source developer also need to dedicate themselves. 
to do it full time because full times can full timers can only change the world not the part time the starting is easy but scaling is extremely hard uh, like us like we are having at 500 people and at we are, we need to we need to change we need to change our policies we need to change because the rules which we have created when we were five people may not work in when we are 500 people so we you need to amend you need to change yourself when you are trying to scale it up india as an open source product nation uh, we always wanted to uh, india as an open source product nation and uh, because uh, in every talk i always ask people can you name few of the popular open source project from india and i always got the answer is like uh, people are not able to tell one single open source there are a couple of open sources which is very popular from india and they are working really good but india india's need is the open source because we are constantly our trade deficit is like widen and widen uh, because the thing is um, uh, we are exporting less value goods and importing uh, high value goods so the trade deficit is there even like 3 4 years back i read somewhere that even in terms of software product software in the saas uh, india is in like not in uh, trade deficit is there not the surplus so uh, and the open source software is not limited for it only that also required in healthcare in terms of agriculture kind of a system and that will happen only if we create role model in open source uh, we should start colleges universities and schools should start teaching about the open source so that the people may get aware about the what is this open source is all about i always believe that complaining is easy but fixing is hard fixing fixing is hard always so instead of complaining that no one is going to create open source let's start with us and the 5000 people 5000 attendees are here in this event let's start with one and then let's start doing it don't don't think that you you are going to do the perfect code no one is perfect perfect world does not exist at all our contribution to the open source is like uh, we have 11000 uh, github more than 11000 github starts at the moment which is a very significant i and consider uh, we have created couple of very popular open source like bigisto is there uh, which is a first successful e-commerce from india and then there's a uvds that is open source help desk system the hotel commerce is there open source uh, hotel and inventory management system for the hoteliers then we created cool cool hue it's a tool for designers designer can create the gradient out of it the micron.js is a uh, interaction library for the animations uh, vividjs is a javascript library for creating svg icons so such kind of experiment we do a lot of experiment we we are also working in other open source projects as well webcool is not limited to our own uh, open source project we are constantly contributing to the other open sources like magento uh, we are the we, we are a very known magento com we are very known magento development company we have won various awards and we are the only indian company who got five times innovation lab award from the magento uh, two times top selling extension award from the magento we are a contributor and the main partner in the open cart which is very popular uh, shopping cart software the prestasoft which is very popular in europe we are also contributing to the source code of the prestasoft same with the wordpress and the woocommerce akinio is a uh, pim software the product information enterprise software we are also contributing to that and there's odoo the open source erp software and we are a leading company in odoo development we are odoo partners as well and we are constantly contributing to the odoo source code repository as well a uh, lot of people are recommending back to us like this daniel car is open code open cart founder and owner they are also recommending us because of our constant contribution to the open source thank you very much if you have any q and a please let me know i tried my best to finish the talk within the time thank you mr sahu that was a wonderful wonderful session and i thank you on behalf of open source india as well as india technology week platform uh, mr sahu if you can you know uh, elaborate on the five biggest challenges in the journey of open source that you have had to face uh, 
there are many actually uh, the part is uh, the fund is something very important uh, the fund is uh, most of the people ignore it but the fund is something very important you need to have a proper funding else you cannot survive at all the other part is acceptance like uh, mm -hmm. society does not accept you and many times our people leave the job in the starting days because they want to work in a known brand company <laughs> we didn't had a brand that time so people leave because they are not getting married because they don't had a brand that time so people don't like come the society and the people don't take you seriously this is the another factor which is uh, very important um the other part which i consider is like growth uh, the growth is something like um uh, open source model uh, uh, like the financial model of open source is not that like a subscription as a service kind of where you are getting money getting money at every month you are doubling the money in the open source the famous model is like services and the partnerships and the services and such kind of stuff is there just received a question where uh, you've talked about the funds and money right how do you manage that yes that's a very wonderful question actually so that i told you that uh, we as a, a partner as a founder we always to have our finances are very uh, kind of limited we are salaried people we don't consider ourselves that okay whatever whatever money we are getting it we always try to put back into the company so that is important because in this way you are able to create more and more uh, departments and more and more departments is important because uh, especially in the covid situation like couple of our softwares are not working a uh, couple of our areas are not working because the demand has been decreased but other software has worked really well so you need to create departments and you need to uh, uh, ask people you need to add more people on it and then obviously you'll get more and more revenue out of it perfect thank you mr sahu i thank you on behalf of uh, open source india and india technology week platform this is the uh, 2020 edition of open source india before we part ways for today any final thoughts okay i i already told you like um, it is an emotional and nostalgic moment for me because i used to read a lot about uh, from like from the magazines like electronics for you open source for you linux for you i was very fond of linux for you and uh, it is kind of a uh, you can say it's an honor to speak in such kind of a event uh, because the part is especially for the open source and the bootstrap uh, companies there's no proper platform is exist in india and i'm very fortunate and i am putting my big thank you to you people to you are adding that value because most of the uh, news and the mainline media is bombarded by the funding news some people raise million dollars some million raise billion dollars and thus people think that this is the only way to create a company but uh, hardly there's a, maybe 200 300 or 500 player who raise the fund rest of the people are doing the bootstrap way so bootstrapping is the right way to create a model i'm not doing it right, right or wrong but this is also a way this is also a way to create a model so thank you uh, open source network open source uh, for you magazine and uh, electronics for you magazine and this event because of that we are able to express our thoughts commendable job thank you very much